welcome you all to part 4 of semiconductors in this section we will be seeing the application of pn junction that is nothing but semiconductor diode so what is semiconductor diode let us think it off die means two this is a semiconductor device which has two terminal and which allows unidirectional flow of current whenever we need to send the current in only one direction we will be using this diodes now right and uh, this diode is a pn junction which is set with uh, two metallic uh, terminals for the application of external voltage right so the process of applying uh, voltage to the pn junction that is called as biasing and the symbol for the diode is in this way it is nothing but an arrow marker with the line here so in this is p side and this is n side and this is the symbol of diodes and the process of applying voltage is called as biasing and biasings are of two types now okay one is forward bias and another one is reverse bias let us understand these two biasing uh, compatibly now right so diode under forward bias diode under reverse bias when positive terminal of a battery is connected to p side and the negative terminal of the battery is connected to n side then the diode is said to be forward biased when positive terminal is connected to n side negative terminal is connected to p side then the diode is said to be reverse biased okay what happens if we connect like this okay let us think it over the voltage which i am applying let me call it as applied voltage and already there is a voltage at the junction that is called as a barrier potential let me call it as v naught let us understand the direction of the uh, <clears throat> electric field here right so the direction of uh, the volt applied voltage is plus to minus it is in this direction what is the direction of here the direction of plus uh, is plus to minus and the direction of applied voltage is opposite the two direction of the barrier potential what happens there let us check it out what is the direction of applied voltage plus to minus it is in this direction what is the direction of barrier potential plus to minus it is in this direction here both are in the same direction okay let us think it out let me uh, have it here direction of applied voltage is opposite to barrier potential here direction of applied voltage is same as barrier potential then what happens now here right if you apply the voltage opposite to barrier potential then barrier potential will decrease then what will be the effect to barrier potential the effect to barrier potential will be v not minus v since it is in the same direction what is the effect to barrier potential it will be v not plus v okay just think it over what happened here here barrier potential decreased here barrier potential increases right in this case the width of the depletion region and the barrier potential decreases in case of forward bias and the width of the depletion region and the barrier potential increased in case of reverse bias okay now let us think it of what happens what happens to the barrier potential decreases so what what did the barrier potential do the barrier potential restricted the flow of majority charge carriers now what happened when we connected connected it to the forward bias the barrier potential it was decreased as barrier potential decreases again the flow of majority charge carriers takes place so as the width of the depletion region and barrier potential decreases diffusion of majority charge carriers takes place we know the diffusion takes place due to the change in the concentration right it was stopped by the barrier potential now barrier potential itself has been decreased again there will be the moment of majority charge carriers so the uh, diffusion of majority charge carriers takes place okay what is the majority charge carriers in n electrons are the majority charge carriers so electrons move from n to p electrons move from n to p side what is the majority charge carriers in p side holes holes move from p to n so holes move from p to n okay this kind of motion happens in forward bias do remember in forward bias diffusion of a majority charge carriers takes place as a depletion region decreased diffusion started again okay what happens in the uh, reverse bias let us check it out here effective uh, the width of the depletion region and barrier potential increased okay what happens if barrier potential increases barrier potential increases electric field increases what happens if electric field increases if electric field increases drift of charges takes place now right okay then the drift of minority charge carriers takes place so what is the minority charge carriers here the electric field increase in such a way that in p side what are the minority charge carriers electrons so electrons of the minority charge carriers they begin to move here and holes begin to move from n to p okay electrons move from p to n side holes move from n to p side now it is clearly understood that when a diode is a forward biased diffusion takes place when the diode is reverse biased uh, drift takes place diffusion of what majority charge carriers there drift of what minority charge carriers 
takes place. Do understand this. Okay, then what happens? Let us uh, take this in the form of graph line here. IV, IV graph line, right? This is the current and this is the voltage line, right? Voltage volts, it will be in the voltage line here and the current will be in milliamps, right? Why it will be in milliamps? Because the measure of the charge, the moment of measure of the charge it carrier takes place. Here, if you see, the current will be in microamps. Why micro? Because minority charge carriers begins to move there, right? So, as we see the graph here, it uh, there was there was no uh, current when there was increase in certain kind of voltage, level, right? So the current begins to flow when the applied voltage is greater than the barrier potential. For example, if the barrier potential is 0 0.7 volts, if you apply the voltage 0 0.1 volts, there will be no moment of charge. That's why we got here this kind of graph now here, right? At a certain kind of, at a certain point of voltage, the current begins to increase. So if you increase to 0 0.2, no flow of current. If you increase to 0 0.3, again, there will be no flow of current because when it increases to 0 0.8, then there will be flow of current and that flow of current will be in the exponential form. Okay, this is how the graph we got in the forward bias. When we go with the reverse bias, if you see, and there will be there will be small amount of current flows through it and suddenly there will be breakdown why there will be suddenly breakdown that we will be studying in the in the iv characteristics of the diagram okay next we will be going with the iv characteristics of the diet okay this is the iv uh, characteristics of diet so in this uh, diagram we can understand that V is in volts, I is in milliamps. Here the I, let me take it as a microamps. This is forward bias and this is a reverse bias. Okay, the same diagrams, I combine these two, right? So as voltage increases, current will be zero as the applied voltage is not greater than the barrier potential. When the, when the applied voltage is greater than the barrier potential, there will be sudden increase in the current. And this type of increase is called as exponential increase, right? As the voltage increases, current increases exponentially, right? It is similar to the increase in the corona cases, right? It is in a similar manner. We have seen that the corona cases increase exponentially. In the forward bias also, the current increases exponentially with the voltage. And at which voltage the current increases exponentially, that is called as cutting voltage or it is also called as threshold voltage. What is cutting voltage? Cutting voltage is forward bias voltage beyond which the current increases exponentially with the change in the voltage. So this is about the forward bias characteristics. Let us go with the reverse bias characteristics. Again, we are seeing the voltage here. It is in the reverse and the current is in microamps because there is the motion of current due to minority charge carriers. We are seeing that there is very little amount of current. Why? Because of the minor, because of the motion of minority charge carriers, right? And at at a certain particular voltage, the current increases infinitely. Why the current increases infinitely? So at the particular uh, voltage, means electric field will be so large that it breaks uh, the covalent bond between uh, the atoms near the junction, and electron holes pairs are created, and there will be increase in the current, and there will be increase in the current infinitely, and the diode breaks down. That's why. This voltage is called as breakdown voltage. What is breakdown voltage? Breakdown voltage is the reverse bias voltage at which current increases infinitely and the diode breaks down. And th this current remains constant and that constant with respect to reverse bias voltage, that constant current is called as reverse saturation current. Okay, so this is about how actually the diode behaves when it is forward bias and when it is reverse bias. Let us see the application of that now here, right? So, this is a diode and this is P side is connected to positive, N side is connected to negative, it is called as forward bias. When it is forward bias, we know there is a lot of, a lot of amount of current flows through it and the sudden there will be flow of current, there will be flow of current and the bulb glows. Right. What happens when it is connected to reverse bias? P side to negative, N side to positive and here there will be movement of charges which charges minority charge carriers. Even though there is movement of minority charge carriers the, that it is not enough for the bulb to glow. So for that we can say that okay there will be no flow of current but do remember in reverse bias there will be a flow of charges but that is not enough for the working of any electrical devices. So let me consider from now onwards there will be no flow of current in the reverse bias. Okay. And 
the, the application of this is like this. Whenever we connect a, a diode here, there will be flow of current in this direction and in this direction there will be no flow of current. That's why the diode, we say that the diode allows unidirectional flow of a current. So this diode is used to convert AC to DC. That is uh, from uh, bo uh, both the direction flow of current to unidirection flow of current. So in that cases, we can use this diodes. Right. Thank you.